What is the ideal senior? Is it the star football player, the valedictorian, class president, the kid sleeping in the back of the classroom? Today we'll hear from senior Salvatore Alice, who many people believe to be the ideal senior. With his impressive resume of classes, sports, and clubs, Sal spoke about how he got to where he is and what other students can do to get to this point too. This is the Senior Spiel, your immersive experience into the lives of seniors at West Warwick High School. You'll learn about the ups and downs of senior year. And we'll talk about what seniors plan to do with their lives after high school. And now, here's your host, Adriana Carsetti. Hi friends, welcome to the first episode of the Senior Spiel. Today, I am joined by a dear friend of mine who I hope you will appreciate just as much as I do. He does more for the school and the people in it than anyone I know. His charm and charisma are unmatched. Welcome, my dear friend, Salvatore Alice. Uh, Thank you, thank you. I'm excited to be here. You know, I've heard rumors that this show is going to be great. I've heard that um, as a little comp with Talk Tour. I've heard that Joe Rogan himself, he he wants to collab with you. This has as projected to to do great yeah it's just gonna be such a great podcast okay let's get into into some questions okay so what is it like being a senior so far this year so far i've had a blast being a senior it's nice ruling over the school watching all the little freshmen coming in walking around and just being that much better than them because i'm a senior and it's just great uh, so far. Like all the activities we've done for seniors so far have been a blast, and I I'm very excited to see what the rest of the year has to hold. Yeah. Um, are there like any classes that you're taking that are specific to seniors that you want to tell people about that you might think they should take? Well, join AOF. It's a great pathway. Uh, senior year, you take. Uh, accounting with Miss Sashin, who is so great. So fun. Um, then Cordic has um, intro to business law and economics. Right now we're playing the stock market game in economics, which is always a blast. Is it? Yeah, and then AP Calc, which is fun at times. And then, uh, <laughs> um, and then Honors Italian 4 is a great class to be in. Trom is the GOAT, second to my king, Joe Vanelli. <laughs> and then, uh, what else am I thinking? Uh, Jim, it's Jim. Can't get much better than that. And and then URI Learning 104. That's a fun class. I already got my college essay out of the way, so that's yeah, good. Yeah, Would you say that it's okay to load up on honors? for your senior year, or should you stay more towards electives and getting the classes you need done, done? I mean, it, it depends on the person. Me, I like, I'm focused on my um, future in education, uh, my future education, not in education, but um, I'm trying to get into a good college at a low price, mm-hmm. so I'm trying to show colleges that most, you know, most seniors like to go easy on the classes. It's, uh, I'm that like five percent who does the extra mile and takes the hard classes senior year shows that I'm dedicated. But if you if you have the funds to pay for for college, or you want to go into like a uh, vocational, I think that it's okay to go light work, light on your senior year. It just depends on the person. Yeah. Is there anything else you do around school other than obviously be? A genius. Um, thank you. You're flattering me. You're welcome. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so I'm the senior class treasurer. I've been uh, the treasurer for four years, uh, along with uh, my president, Christian Briggs. We've made a great team over the f- past four years. Um, I'm also in Smile, which is fun, and recently I've been promoted to uh, uh, chief officer, so wow. I'm like the big honcho there. And what is Smile exactly? Uh, Smile is uh, is a uh, STEM program. It's into science, math, and in- investigative learning experiences. And we just uh, every Thursday we go to Mr. Bashir's room, and him and Miss Owen um, 
give us experiment experiments to do and we just do them we have fun we get together we have some snacks and it's all ran by uri so and if you do it for four years um you get five hundred dollars uh off of uh your if you go to uri um also um so since i'm the treasurer i i'm also in student council and social committee it's kind of given um I sometimes go to chess club if I'm free on Fridays. <laughs> um, I run track. I'm in National Honor so- I don't run track. I throw at track. Um, and then I'm in National Honor Society, um, U Alpha Theta, which is the Math Honor Society. Italian club. That's that's a great, <laughs> great club. And, yeah, I think I, I think I hit them all. That's a heavy load you got there. Um, would you say that those clubs are something that they should – join even if they're not in them going into their senior year um yeah i think uh, it's always fun to uh, do something after school you have to get you involved in the community and then you got to also meet people with similar shared interests and then so you get that already you have that connecting you so it's that much easier to make them your friend mm-hmm. and friends are always nice to have yeah of course so with this heavy load what is a normal day like for you? So a normal day, um, well, I wake up at uh, 3.45 usually. I hit, I, <laughs> I hit the gym. Um, then I get home, get ready for school. And that leaves my afternoons free, so I don't have to worry about it. I get it done with. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, I love the gym. It's a great uh, hobby to have. It keeps you healthy. Yeah. Um, then after, uh, so I get ready for school. I go throughout my day. Then after school, depending on the day, I I go either go to my club um, or I head to work. And I work at Tropical Smoothie uh, Cafe in Great Coventry. Place. Great place. Uh, rumor has it I'm in line for a promotion tomorrow, wow. which is great. That comes with a nice little dollar raise. A dollar goes a long way. Yeah, especially when you're making not that much. <laughs> Um, but yeah, and then after after uh, after I get home, like and I have nothing else to do, I get my homework done, which usually isn't that much. Um, so I get that done in like thirty minutes, and then I get ready for bed, have my dinner, and then um, I'm off to bed. And you repeat for the rest of the week. Yeah. So with all this time and all these clubs all these classes you make a lot of memories especially since you're in you know your last year of high school so what would you say st- let's go worst to best what's your worst, worst memory worst memory worst memory um one that pops to mind is last year uh i was running for um national honor society president mm-hmm. i gave a great speech i worked so hard on it i practiced my lines <laughs> And I think it was just a phenomenal speech. Uh, some may say the best to ever, the best yeah. speech to ever give. It was a great speech. Uh, I, can, I can attest to that. But and I was so confident. I thought I had it in the bag. But then I lost. <laughs> I lost by just a few votes. It was like a neck and neck the entire time. And that was just, uh, just, just took, took a toll. And yeah, it was kind of, it was kind of like yeah. brought the mood down for the rest of the day. But I, I got over it. I moved on to bigger, better things, and that's that. Yeah, it shows you can persevere through bad things and still be Definitely successful. don't still cry myself to sleep about it. <laughs> <laughs> so to get a little off the sad, gloomy side, <laughs> what would you say is one of your best memories from high school? Besides being on this show. Oh, yeah. This yeah, besides us, of course. <laughs> this, is, this is definitely up there. Um, but this probably this is probably this is my recent event. Um, recently, I asked Emily Santier to homecoming, yes, and, I, did. and I and I put on this big project production. I had uh, Vanessa Guillo, who I'm so grateful for. Um, she she uh, put on a little show uh, singing "Something in the Orange" by Zach Bryan. Fantastic over the intercom, and let me say that was amazing. Uh, like that's on social media too, isn't it? It is, yeah. and it's. Miss uh, Dr. Hinson said that's the most liked uh, post on Westworld Wizards Pride. As Go it follow it. Be. Um, but yeah, that was that was so fun. It was uh, a bit special setting it up because Emily has a busy schedule as well. So trying to get that, uh, we went through a lot of different um, 
different plans trying to get an old setup. Yes. But I'm really happy with how it turned out. And I think it's one of the best proposals in uh, Westworld history. I think it was pretty great. There's not a lot of things that could top that, to be honest. I, I second that. Next was pretty good, though. What did you say? Yeah, it was great. <laughs> Had me a little blushing a little bit. <laughs> all right. So, with all of these events, they all lead up to one thing, graduation. The sometimes dreaded moment, but sometimes exciting moment, depending on who you are. What are your plans for after high school, if you have any? Um, well... I'm I'm still deciding the college, um, but I do want to go to college. I'll probably end up wherever gives me the most money. Yeah. That it's great to graduate debt free or with low student debt. Um, but I plan on majoring in business and then minoring in finance and marketing. Uh-huh. Um, and then after I'll probably get a job in like as like a financial advisor. Then uh, hopefully end up uh, making enough that I can. Uh, risk it and start my own business and then hopefully that blows up and I'm set for life. I'll support your business. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. So, who would you say has influenced you the most and influenced what you plan to do for the rest of your life? Um, well, one of my my biggest inspiration is my parents. Uh, Mm -hmm. Uh, growing up, we weren't like the richest, especially, uh, gro- so I grew up in Stoneham, Massachusetts, which is a pretty nice neighborhood. Yeah. Um, however, we lived in a, a two-family, um, and we were, half the time we were going paycheck to paycheck, and they just, they constantly made sure I had the best childhood that they could give, mm-hmm. and they, they sacrificed so much, and then even still, they, they tried their hardest to make sure me and my three other siblings get everything we want. I don't give them enough credit, even though I should. <laughs> um, but yeah, as the, they gave me a good mentality to have, that perseverance, and uh, I, I respect them so much for their huge hearts. Yeah, it's always great having someone to look up to. So speaking of being someone to look up to, you're obviously one of those people. So you have up, you have juniors who are going to be seniors next year, as well as sophomores and freshmen. So, what advice would you have to underclassmen and to upcoming seniors? I just say it's a bit cliche, but like just take take your time, just live in the moment. I spend too long worrying about what I'm gonna do, um, uh, what I'm gonna do like tomorrow, what what's gonna happen in the future, yeah. and it just cause a lot of stress that's mostly unnecessary. Um, and it's uh, Sam Sudak, uh, when another person I look up to. He's a bodybuilder. Uh, he once said, uh, the person that enjoys the walk will walk further than the person who enjoys the destination. Because hmm. if you enjoy what you're doing, you're going to want to do it more, and hmm. then uh, then you're going to end up going further uh, than someone who just wants to get to the end. And it's just, I think it's just a great, uh, great perspective to have uh, because senior year, there's so much that you have to worry about. If you just take it one day at a time, one step at a time, I think it's uh, just uh, going to ease up your, your, uh, your stress just a bit. And huh. just, it's great to just enjoy the drive. Oh. Okay. Well... Thank you so much for being the first guest on my podcast. Thank Great you for moment, having me. Might I add. That's it for this episode. We'll see you back here soon on the Senior Spiel.